today we're just showing a quick video if you have a tile wet saw on site and um, you need to dispose of the uh, slurry water out of it. Two really cool ways to do it. Just depending on your table saw and how much water it holds or slurry water it holds and how thick the solid content is. So what we've done first is we've put a bit of the uh, slurry sep flock. We've put about um, 40 to 50 grams into a 20 litre bucket and we've put a bit about one litre of clean water and we've just agitated that and that's what we call a pre-flock mix. So what that does, it helps um, the separation work faster once the slurry water goes in as opposed to adding it in after. So we'll just go and release that plug, let some of that slurry water down. As you can see it's uh, quite thick. It's probably uh, contains about 20% solids, maybe 30. Um, so we'll let that get to about three quarters of the way, just so it is easier mix, easier to take care of. And let that flow keep coming, mate. Keep coming. Oh, if you could just stop that there, that'd be great. All right. So as you can see now, we've got a nice big bucket of slurry. And what I'll do, just using this pole, I'll just agitate the, the flock, the bentonite clay in there, and what that does, it just um, helps accelerate the whole process. So the uh, bentonite clay works like magnets, and it attracts all the solids and the minerals in the uh, slurry water. And it, um, it helps separate and leave clean, clear water at the top. So that should be enough now if we just let that settle. You get an idea of what I'm talking about. You can see you'll start to get rapid, rapid separation. ways of getting rid of solids. You can put it in a dewatering bag and what that'll do, that'll filter whatever clean water is left in there and keep the solids in. Or if you're in a rush like we are today, we use what we call slurry dry. It's a super absorbent, it's a solidifier and what it'll do, it'll actually turn that into a uh, solid waste that can be disposed of more or less straight away. Do you mind pouring a bit of that in a time and I'll mix? Yep, just sort of flour it in, yeah, see, sprinkle it in, it works better when it's distributed. That's it, keep going. And again, once uh, this super absorbent is made up of uh, very similar characteristics as the slurry sep, it is uh, bentonite clays, but they use uh, different sort of polymers um, to assist with, the, um, with their absorbing. So you see that's really starting to thicken up a bit, it's starting to turn into more like a gel like state, it's not as sloppy anymore. And uh, we'll let that sit probably for about 5 minutes, that's how it is after 5 minutes. So you see, it won't leach out, no more water in it, nothing comes out, it's a gel like form. And the longer you leave this stuff, it just keeps working. So if you look there now. See that, it's starting to solidify into a gel-like form. There's no more liquid at the bottom of the bucket, 